tax season will be here before you know it, but a Tennessee woman is warning people against using a certain banking service she says is keeping her from actually getting her hefty refund. Yeah, so WSMV4 investigative reporter Stacey Cameron has more on a very complicated issue and what you need to know before you file in 2024. Tori Jackson is on the edge of panic. It's, it's horrible. Because she's got $46,000 in a Green Dot bank account money needed to pay some bills, but she can't touch a dime. The account was set up to accept a huge tax refund Jackson and her husband got after settling a back tax bill with the IRS. And that was exciting for us. But when she tried to take money out, Green Dot locked it down. I called to see why, and they told me it was from unusual activity. So she took steps to verify her identity, but two months later, Jackson's account remains blocked. I don't know what to do at this point. She's not alone. NBC News reports a growing number of people battling Green Dot for their tax cash after the bank blocked their withdrawals, too. This is her money. She should be able to get it back. Ted Rossman is a senior analyst at Bankrate. He says Green Dot is an online bank well known for getting customers fast tax refunds, but usually those deposits are small. This is really better suited for a few hundred dollars, maybe a couple thousand dollars. He thinks Jackson's huge refund and big withdrawals probably set off fraud alarms at the bank. So to get her money back, Rossman says Jackson should try filing complaints with the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau and the Tennessee Department of Financial Institutions. You know, as they say, the, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. We tried contacting Green Dot to ask why they've had trouble with Jackson's account and if they suspect fraud. In an email, Green Dot said it doesn't share customer information or how they identified fraud and that the IRS is now processing Jackson's case. I've called the IRS. The IRS said they have no idea what they're talking about. Jackson says the IRS told her once a refund is issued, they're hands off. She plans to keep fighting Green Dot. Every day I call them. And hopes her story sends a warning to others. Put it in your own bank account. Do not use Green Dot. Now, Jackson tells me she keeps getting conflicting information from Green Dot. One supervisor told her the account's permanently closed, while a different customer service representative says it's just blocked. So Jackson says she's going to file complaints with the CPFB and the TDFI. When she hears back, I'll let you know what they say. For WSMV4, I'm investigative reporter Stacy Cameron. Oh, Stacy, we need to get answers for this woman. Thanks for telling this story.